Well, good afternoon. This is one of those interesting cases where both sides are saying that more video is needed to know exactly what happened. As I'm getting off the bus, he hit me and he said he kicked me three times. So I'm getting up. It's a footage before what they see on the footage with y'all seen. I'm getting up trying to protect myself, defend myself. And the bus driver who he was talking to came up from behind me and slimed me in my back. And we're asking for the CTA driver to be held accountable. Again, if it was me or if it was Mr. Madden who did this to a regular citizen, we would be charged with a battery. The video was posted to social media the same day it happened, June 11th, around 2 in the morning near 77th and Western. 43-year-old Lawrence Madden Jr. says he was just trying to get to his father's house and told the driver he was being unprofessional by stopping and talking with another CTA driver for about 10 minutes. He says the driver seen squaring up to fight him was the aggressor and got off the bus and punched him and kicked him before the other driver body slammed him. The union president that represents CTA drivers says video from inside the bus, which has not been released publicly, shows Madden approaching the driver first and throwing some liquid on him before he headed to the back of the bus. He says the driver should have never have gotten off the bus to fight with Madden, but he doesn't think that driver or the man who body slammed him should have been fired. The other driver in my mind is, 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 is a hero because, you know, like I said, we are often uh, challenged and, and picked on and assaulted by the passengers and nobody comes to our aid. So we have to watch each other's back. Now, Madden denies ever approaching the CTA driver first. His attorneys say right now they are still in the investigative stages of all of this, but could file a lawsuit. We're live in the West Loop. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.